laws are essentially the reflection of ethos of any society yeah okay and uh, uh, so all laws are created within those boundaries there's one more aspect that especially when we deal about the privacy laws uh, the thing is that most of the privacy laws that are being formulated right now they are in alignment with the european uh, general data protection regulation they are, they are in alignment with that the reason is that you have a lot of trade with europe obviously and now data is becoming a commodity it's a commodity that is heavily exchanged between different businesses between different countries and the amount of structured data that we have today i mean in human history uh, we, we have never had that amount of structured data so the, uh, obviously there is a lot that needs to be done to exchange that data as a commodity now uh, therefore all the laws that are going to be created that are going to be in alignment with the, the general data protection law uh, regulation by europe and i remember back in 2018 pakistan had tabled a personal data protection uh, draft as well personal data protection law draft as well uh, and in 2021 they tabled a bill for it was a consultation draft for personal data protection bill i am not sure what exactly has happened after that but i anticipate uh, that the privacy laws which are going to be created they are going to be in alignment with gdpr which makes sense mm-hmm. when it comes to the cyber security regulatory framework uh, you know uh, the the policy objectives that they had outlined in, in their policy they, they were they were right on spot it's just that you need uh, a body that make sure that all these regulations that are going to be formulated in future they they need to be strictly adhered to across uh, different sectors uh, across different industries and across all kind of businesses and uh, for for cyber security i think uh, the challenge that i see is uh, i i don't see the challenge in terms of the human resource i see a challenge more in terms of the technology because and it stems from our uh, fragility in terms of uh, in terms of our economy because our economy is not really that stable therefore whenever you have when you ever you have to take some kind of technology from outside of pakistan that is where the real challenge lies uh, however you do have good software developers so they they can it, it also provides you an opportunity to become self sufficient which was also one of the aspect which was highlighted in the cyber security policy that you have to become self sufficient by developing the technologies by developing the the cyber security softwares on your own so that you don't just become so self sufficient you start uh, becoming uh, you start being in a position where you can start exporting those right. those uh, products and those solutions uh, to the outside world 